Uh, I'm pretty sure I predicted this in a video as well. Uh, welcome to another video. More bad news at West Ham United. Um, we are going to be talking about Divine Mubama's uh, decision to turn down a new contract at West Ham United. And we might preview the Arsenal game. I'm still... I always go off the cuff with these. Um... But yeah, obviously I'm in the cinema watching a really bad film and I turned to my phone and uh, yeah. Yeah. Why? Just why? Why? Why does this have to happen all the time? Um, Devon Mubama, this has been reported by Rashane Thomas on The Athletic. Devon Mubama has turned down a new contract at, a new, uh, turned on a contract extension at West Ham. The forward is entering final year of his deal, which does not include a one-year option. Dis discussions remain ongoing and club hope Mubama will change his mind. Uh, guess what? He won't change his mind. Because if you want to change his mind, play him. They won't play him. Uh... We haven't trusted youngsters since Redknapp. Uh, I was not, I was barely alive. Um, <clears throat> and this is only going to put more hate on Danny Ings. And I didn't want Danny Ings at this club because I didn't think we played to his strengths. And I didn't think we needed a striker at the time. Uh, but we don't really give him any service anyway. So I, I don't put the hate on Ings. I do think Mubama should play over him because I think... Remember when Moyes first came into the club, he said he wanted a young, hungry team. We are the oldest team in the Premier League uh, by average age. And uh, Mubaba will leave. He will leave at the end of the club, at the end of the season. Just because he's from Newham doesn't mean he's going to sign. Um, but yeah, I'll be very surprised if he signs a new deal. If I was him, I'd go somewhere else. I'd probably try and go abroad if I was him. If I was him, I would try and get to a Dutch or German team where I could actually develop myself. And Divine Mubaba is clearly more than good enough to get first team football because Moyes has put him in the first team picture. He's in the first team picture, the official first team picture. Um, ex West Ham employee said he, him and George Earthy were probably the next up and Freddie Potts are the three that are like up next. Uh, none of them will get a chance. We can tie all these youngsters down all they want. They none of them will get a chance at West Ham. This is probably our best group of youngsters in years. Um we had a good era around 2015, 2017, where we had Martinez and Cullen and Oxford. Um and Coventry was coming through, Declan Rice was coming through, Ben Johnson was coming through. Um I'm trying to think who else at the time. Nathan Holland was coming through. Um not all of them whether it was down to injury, application, agents, um, some of them will never work. And uh, obviously, we, we let Josh Cullen go. We shouldn't have let Josh Cullen go. Um, at the time, Dean Garner was still a bad decision. Now, in hindsight, he is struggling at West Brom. But had we had kept Dean Garner, we wouldn't have had to sell Sebastian Haller, um because they worked together well in pre-season at the time. But that was a, that, that, that's an era that we don't really need to dwell on. Um, Harrison Ashby wanted a first team wage and he was a good enough right back to play. Uh, but he's now on loan at Swansea uh, from Newcastle. He impressed in pre season against Matoma in the summer series against Brighton and Hove Albion. He played first team football. He did he did well coming on against Arsenal. He played well against Tottenham in the Carabao Cup. Um and he missed out on a game against Norwich at the time because it was postponed due to the COVID stuff. Um and we have a history with um Killing youngsters. We are meant to be the academy of football, uh, but we will kill youngsters for life. I, was, I used to be the guy that was like, don't worry, Moyes has, Moyes has got these youngsters. Don't worry about it. Connor Coventry will come through and this player, this player. Well, I used to stick up for Moyes all the time. Uh, but honestly, uh, this was coming. This was coming. And uh, we kill youngsters. We are the graveyard for youngsters. We are the graveyard for strikers. And uh, I don't see why we shouldn't give young players a chance. We're the only, we're probably one, we're probably the only team in the Premier League that doesn't give young players a chance. We haven't given a young player a chance since Ben Johnson really as a proper. Well, I don't know how he made it, and not some of the youngsters that I see. Uh, 
to be honest with you, when I watched some of these youngsters, I, th I don't think Ashby was going to make it um, in first team football, but he did make it. But I don't. I clearly don't have a good eye for for talent. But I think Mubamba is good enough. Um, I think he was highly rated for a reason. And if I was him, I'd be like, why the fuck am I here? I was probably promised a bit more first, maybe not first team football, but I was probably promised to be in a first team squad, and I'd be left out of the squad. And I didn't. And he didn't even play in the in the youth game on Friday. And I've talked about this on either the match reaction or the aftermath. Oh, it just gives me a headache. It just gives me a headache. Um, I'm not saying this guy's going to score 20 goals a season for another Premier League team or anything, but I think youngsters will um, do well in the circumstances they're in. So just because he goes to another Premier League club doesn't mean he's going to do well uh, or just because he flops there it doesn't mean he won't do well for us. Because you're going to see people, when he doesn't play for another Premier League club, you're going to see people say, oh, this is why Moyes didn't offer him a new contract, didn't play him. Uh, it's all about circumstances when it comes to transfers and bringing players through. We are a graveyard for youngsters, and I'll keep repeating that because we are not the academy of football. Um, we don't bring young players through. We don't develop young talent. We don't really put money in to the youth system either. Um, but listen... Uh, who, who am I to talk? Uh, I'm probably being too negative, aren't I? Um, because that's that's usually the narrative when you criticise Moyes online. As much as I haven't got that uh, sort of hate, uh, a lot of others have for criticising this manager just because he won us a trophy. Um, but I I don't under I just don't understand it. I don't understand it. Um, as a, the, the the club has pretty much turned it back to what it was. I don't know. I don't know. But what I will say um, is that we've got Arsenal on uh, Wednesday. And I was looking forward to that Arsenal game um, a few weeks ago. I am dreading going to the game. I don't really want to go, but I'm going to go. Um, Mubaba should be playing that kind of game uh, as much as we should try and play a strong team I think Mubaba should play up front I think Mubaba should start uh, for West Ham United uh, I don't see why we don't give young players a chance um, whether Moyes if Moyes feels out a second team uh, yeah just leave please uh, I don't really want uh, a second team to be played in this cup I think we should be taking this cup seriously I was a man who never used to take this cup seriously purely because um no one took it seriously at our club. Uh, we always used to get embarrassed and we never used to try. We uh, we always fold. And uh, I have a feeling that will happen again. I have a feeling Arsenal will play their second team and uh, they'll beat us with Declan Rice as well. That will, He will also play. Um, but I will never, ever... Um, get my hopes up again at this club. I don't see the point. Um, and uh, uh, I think Moyes, needs, uh, Moyes just leave at the end of the season and him and Mubar will probably both leave. Uh, that's the end of the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to your new social medias. I'm going to do not in the description, but my social medias are GVO Mikes on Twitter and Instagram, and you can check that out. Thank you. Goodbye.